This is the sixth year in a row Aaron Ross hosted his football camp here in town, all part of his Celebrity Charity Weekend, which also includes a cheer camp and that basketball game you saw earlier. Aaron stopped by our studio a few days ago to talk about his Charity Weekend, starting with how it's gaining popularity from year to year. It's been growing each and every year. Um, more and more kids are coming out. Um, the parents, are, they're supporting the cause and, and more athletes coming out now. Um, of course, all the DBs at, at UT are going to make it out. Um, Vince, he's going to be out there tomorrow. So it is, it's getting bigger and better each and every year. And as far as the whole festivities you've got, cheer camp, basketball game, yep. football camp as well. <laughs> How exciting of a time is this for you to come down here and, and be back in your old city? Um, it is, it's a great time of the year for me. Um, it's something that I really look forward to, um, to, to have a chance to just reach out and touch the kids. I remember growing up in San Antonio, and um, I, I never had a chance or, or even heard about the opportunity that I would be able to, to go out and, and meet professional athletes, someone that you look up to on Sundays, see them playing football, and to just go out there and play with those type of guys, um, it, I know it, it puts a smile on their face as well as ours. As far as your old teammates and, and guys you've got coming in for the weekend, how much trash talking goes on, <laughs> especially first and foremost this basketball game, which right. I'm actually going to get to play in. Um, I don't know how I feel I'm, about that. Hey, I'm scoring 30, so make sure yeah. you don't guard me. <laughs> wow. Is that like at a high shooting percentage or you're just going to get hey, 30 no matter how I'm you got to get I'm 30 however I got to get them. <laughs> <laughs> but really, how much trash talking goes on as far as texting and phone calls and stuff when it comes to basketball guys yeah. at a sport that you guys don't play too much? All right. It's, it's, I think basketball is every football player's dream. It's something we grew up playing um, thinking that we were better at basketball than football. So it's, it's a lot of trash talk that goes along when, when it comes to getting on the court. <laughs> how have these basketball games gone? In the past, I know you've got Ivan Johnson coming mm -hmm. in. You played with him at Fox Tech, and, and obviously he's just he's a, a monster. Beast. Yeah, he's a beast. Um, <laughs> who's been like the best player in these games for these past few years? Besides me. Yeah, besides you. <laughs> 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 no, nah, um, it's, it's been a lot of guys. Um, one year, Corey Webster had a he had a great game. Um, Cedric Benson. It's been a, it's been a lot of guys that came out and and supported the game and had great games. As far as the football camp goes, this is something that you're out on the field, you're with these kids, you're yep. picking them up, you're putting them yeah. down, you're, you're all over the place. How much do you pride yourself in not just putting your name and attaching mm -hmm. your name to this and just kind of showing up? Oh man, it, it's, it's huge. Like I said before, um, it's, it's something that I didn't get a chance to experience and I know that's something that I yearned for when I was younger. And um, to, to just see the smile that we put on the kids' faces is... is there's no better feeling than that. Um, just picking a kid up and, and he's looking at you like you're just his, his hero. So um, it's, it's not a better feeling than that. Let's kind of shift gears here a little bit and, and talk a little bit about your wife, yeah. Sonia. <laughs> um, you guys barely ever get to see each other. Right. But I know uh, <laughs> a great moment for you must have been London last summer and oh, her yeah. winning a couple gold medals. How much fun is that experience, just being able to be there as a fan and not so much you know, with the pressure of right. being an athlete? Oh um, man, it was it was huge. Um, it's a lot of organizations that won't allow you to go to the to the Olympics, and I had a chance to to make it to London and see my wife basically um, accomplish something equivalent to me as a Super Bowl. So, um, it was that was one of my my highlights of my career, my life. So, um, it was it was huge. And just as far as that whole time. How much do you feel like she depends on your on your strength, your support, mm -hmm. and just being a backbone for her to kind of take away all the pressure of the outside deal, so she can focus on right. her goal of, of winning golds? Um, I, I think I think we we do a both job, a, a great job between one another, um, kind of supporting one another, depending on the times of season. So, um, being a backbone in, in her time, I kind of understand being a, a an athlete that hey, she just need to focus get her job done and, and, and put the rest to bed. After she got up on the podium and took two golds, how much trash talking did she do <laughs> to you? And how did the dynamic at home change? A lot. Basically, I mean, she's got four gold medals and you got a couple Super Bowls. Right. Did it feel like things are kind of changing, the, the title's changing at home? I definitely had the upper hand. My uh, rookie year, she, she won. She went, had a chance to go to the Olympics and get gold on the four by four. So it was my turn to top that. I had a chance to go to the Super Bowl and win. And then I have one up to her once I um, won my Super Bowl ring and the second one and she came back and, and got me. So it's always a little competition in the house. 